Chinese authorities are advancing with an equal parts colossal and controversial hydropower project. While much of the world debates what the future might look like, China is out there building it, right now. Towering bridges that even counter gravity and entire skyscrapers rising in days. These aren't sci-fi concepts, they're already operational. China is leading the global surge of renewables with an estimated 60% of all solar and wind projects. While others debate what's possible, China delivers marvels that blend cutting-edge technology with bold vision. China's latest mega project has pushed the boundaries of engineering and imagination. But what exactly did China build this time? And what does this mean for the global balance of power? Can anyone keep up with China's breakneck pace? Will the US respond or fall further behind? Mega projects that shocked the world. When it comes to building the impossible, China doesn't just think big, it rewrites the entire playbook across mountains, over canyons, through freezing plateaus and coastal waters, a new era of mega projects is emerging. These aren't just impressive constructions. They are monumental feats of engineering that feel more like science fiction than reality. The jaw-dropping Huajiang Canyon Bridge, a gravity-defying marvel that's set to become the tallest bridge on the planet. Imagine driving across a structure that soars over 2,000 feet above a river gorge. That's higher than the Empire State Building stacked on top of itself. But how do you even build something like that when conventional cranes can't reach those altitudes? The answer? Pure innovation. Chinese engineers developed the world's largest cable crane system, a vast steel spider web suspended between cliffs using satellite guidance and the Internet of Things, yes, the IoT, to position massive 21,000-ton bridge segments with surgical precision. It's like threading a needle while standing on the edge of space. And these aren't just steel cables, they're smart. Packed with real-time sensors, they can monitor temperature changes, vibrations, stress loads, and more, essentially giving the bridge a nervous system to report back on its own health. It's alive, in a way. But China's vision doesn't end with single icons. It's about speed and scale, like the kind showcased in Mini Sky City. In the city of Changsha, a 57-story skyscraper shot up in just 19 days. You heard that right, 19. That's the kind of pace usually reserved for science fiction montages. This wasn't magic, but modular construction at its most extreme. Giant prefabricated blocks, think of them like Lego pieces the size of shipping containers, were stacked with military efficiency. The same technique is now being planned for an even more audacious structure a 220-story vertical city. That's not just ambition, it's ambition on steroids. Preservation meets innovation in another project that feels straight out of a sci-fi novel. In most cities, when a building stands in the way of underground construction, the answer is simple, tear it down. But not in China. Enter the Hanli Shikaman complex, an 8,200-ton historical structure. Rather than demolishing it, engineers lifted it off its foundations and walked it away. Using robotic hydraulic jacks, the entire building shuffled across the street like a mechanical centipede. Once the work beneath was completed, the building was gently walked back into place, unharmed and unshaken. It's like watching a giant turtle move a cathedral, and it worked. Then there's the Kayla Power Station, perched on an icy mountain range where the temperature plunges below minus 30 degrees Celsius and whines scream like jet engines. And yet, this remote outpost houses the world's largest hybrid solar hydro power station, covering more than 170 million square feet. Roughly the size of two Manhattans, it generates one gigawatt of clean energy. That's enough to power over one million homes. And while solar panels typically struggle in frigid conditions, Kayla thrives, thanks to tech that adjusts each panel's angle to catch even the faintest rays of winter sun. China isn't just building for today, it's building for a climate challenge tomorrow. And the most advanced one that changed the tech game is the Dalian Jinzhou One floating airport, a gateway to the skies built on an artificial island in the Yellow Sea. Scheduled to open in 2026, this floating airport isn't just a novelty. It's a strategic marvel, designed to ease congestion on the mainland 
while showcasing how land reclamation and coastal engineering can be fused into functional infrastructure. The runways rise from the sea like a mirage, built to withstand typhoons, earthquakes, and saltwater corrosion. And beneath the surface, massive concrete honeycombs keep the structure stable, anchored yet flexible, letting it dance with the waves instead of fighting them. Each of these mega-projects reveals something deeper. China isn't merely racing to impress, but it's not just the scale of these projects that stuns, it's the groundbreaking techniques behind them. Let's explore how China is building with tools straight out of tomorrow. Construction techniques from tomorrow. You may have seen the viral inflatable construction dome, a giant translucent bubble that seals off an entire building site. Inside, the noise and debris of heavy machinery are trapped and filtered. Outside, the city breathes easily. No more jackhammers rattling neighborhoods. No more clouds of concrete dust filling the air. It's like putting a silencer on a mega project. These domes don't just reduce pollution. They redefine how urban construction coexists with daily life. Cities no longer need to pause for progress. They evolve in silence. And speaking of evolution, imagine printing an entire park. That's exactly what happened in AICT Park, where over 60,000 square feet of concrete benches, walls, sculptures, and pathways were created in under three months using nothing but massive 3D printers. Yes, the same technology used to print trinkets and tools is now shaping public spaces. No molds, no waste, no lengthy timelines. Just robotic arms squirting out layer upon layer of concrete with machine precision. But that's just the warm-up. In Shanghai, a pedestrian bridge 86 feet long was 3D printed in just 450 hours. That's less than 20 days. Each curved segment was printed using industrial robotic arms, then assembled like puzzle pieces. The result? A flowing, futuristic footpath that feels more like sculpture than structure. Durable, functional, and beautiful, it's a glimpse of where architecture is headed where art and engineering merge through algorithms. Now lift your gaze to the Tibetan Plateau and you'll find something even more surreal. There, surrounded by snow-capped peaks, a massive 590-foot dam is being built, but no workers are in sight. The entire project is run by AI-controlled 3D printers. Yes, artificial intelligence commanding a fleet of robotic machines. Trucks, excavators, cranes all autonomous. Human engineers monitor the process remotely, but the actual building is done by an algorithm. The goal? Finish the dam in less than two years. If successful, it will be the world's first large-scale infrastructure project built entirely without human labor. We're not just watching automation, we're watching a new civilization method being born. Closer to the clouds, China is building skyscrapers with the help of self-climbing formwork. Think of it as a robotic mold that attaches itself to a building, then hoists itself upward, floor by floor, using hydraulic arms. Workers pour concrete into the moving mold, and the formwork continues to climb, like a spider spinning its web higher into the sky. This method slashes construction time, improves safety, and makes high-rise buildings faster and more precise than ever before. It's automation going vertical. And then there's modular assembly, a technique that has completely reimagined how structures are built from residential homes to stadiums, from hospital wings to highway overpasses. Picture prefabricated rooms, fully fitted with plumbing and wiring, rolling off an assembly line and stacking like building blocks. In some cases, entire structures have been completed in a single day. That's not an exaggeration, it's a revolution. These modular builds are not only fast, but they're also durable, customizable, and cost-effective, offering real solutions to housing shortages and rapid urbanization. These techniques don't just build faster, they're paving the way for smarter, greener cities. Let's see how China's vision for the future is taking shape. Automation, sustainability, and smart cities. In China, construction isn't just about creating buildings, it's about reimagining how entire societies function. It's about merging automation with sustainability and architecture with intelligence. While other countries debate the future of urban living, China is laying the foundation, brick by robotic brick. Start with the very walls themselves. 
on construction sites across the country, robotic bricklayers and plastering arms are rapidly replacing manual labor. These machines don't tire, don't make mistakes, and can finish in minutes what used to take hours. With surgical precision, they lay perfect rows of bricks, smooth out plaster with flawless consistency, and boost construction efficiency more than tenfold. What once required a crew now takes a single robotic arm and a line of code. Then there's China's crown jewel of infrastructure, its high-speed rail system. Already the world's largest, it's growing even faster thanks to super-automated track-laying machines. These mechanical behemoths, 90% automated, can lay up to two kilometers of track every day, around the clock. No brakes, no overtime, just relentless precision. The goal? Uninterrupted 24-7 operation to connect every corner of the country with a seamless rail network. But building across China's wild and rugged terrain isn't easy, unless you've got AI-guided tunnel boring machines. These massive drills, some longer than football fields, cut through mountains and hard rock with surgical accuracy. They're fed real-time data by artificial intelligence systems that optimize their path to avoid faults and maximize speed. In head-to-head -head global comparisons, China's machines are outpacing their rivals by huge margins, carving out multi-lane expressways beneath cities and mountains in record time. Above ground, drones are becoming vital to logistics. They don't just deliver lunch anymore. On massive construction projects, these flying workhorses carry solar panels across mountain valleys, lift cables for suspension bridges, and reduce the need for human workers in dangerous positions. Picture a drone floating in the air while threading a bridge cable hundreds of feet above a gorge. That's no longer science fiction. It's today's construction playbook. Even bridges themselves are being assembled in a whole new way. Instead of shutting down roads for months, pre-built segments are quietly rotated into place using advanced hydraulic pivot systems. Roads stay open, cities stay moving, and infrastructure gets smarter with every build. No more endless delays. No more orange cones stretching into the horizon. Just precision planning and mechanical choreography. And China isn't stopping at efficient builds. It's making those builds last. Enter self-healing concrete, infused with special bacteria. When a crack forms, the bacteria awaken and produce limestone, sealing the damage from within. Bridges and highways can now literally repair themselves, extending their lifespans by decades. It's infrastructure with a survival instinct. Now shift your focus to the cities themselves, places like Kunli and Lingang, which are being transformed into sponge cities. Instead of flooding during monsoon seasons, these cities absorb water like living organisms. Rain gardens, permeable pavements, and green rooftops collect, store, and filter rainwater naturally. It reduces flood risk, recharges groundwater, and brings birds, insects, and greenery back into urban life. These cities don't just survive nature, they work with it. That same fusion of form and function shines in structures like the Fosun Foundation Cultural Center in Shanghai. Its kinetic facade, made of bronze-colored tubes, shifts and ripples throughout the day, responding to sunlight and creating a living, breathing outer skin. It's both a performance art and a building envelope. People stop to stare. Some don't even realize it's architecture. They think it's sculpture. And maybe it is. Maybe it's both. Further inland, in the bamboo-covered hills of Angie, the Angie Culture and Art Center spreads across over 1.2 million square feet. Its sweeping, floating rooftops mimic the delicate curves of bamboo leaves. But it's not just beautiful, it's sustainable. Rainwater collected from those roofs is used for cooling the entire complex. It's a poetic loop. Nature cools the building, and the building reflects nature. And then, there's the sky-piercing dream of the Phoenix Towers in Wuhan. Planned to rise over 3,300 feet, yes, taller than the Burj Khalifa, they are designed to be entire ecosystems, covered in solar panels, equipped with wind turbines, and holding what will be the world's highest garden. These towers aren't just skyscrapers, they're vertical cities. They breathe, generate power, recycle air and water, and provide public green spaces suspended in the sky. If built as planned, they won't just be tall, they'll be the most sustainable buildings on Earth. China's cities of tomorrow won't just be smart, they'll be alive.
They'll heal themselves, breathe with nature, adapt to weather, and run on data. Roads will repair themselves. Buildings will shift with the wind. Neighborhoods will grow like ecosystems. And at the heart of it all, automation, sustainability, and vision. In the global race toward the future, China isn't just ahead, it's building the finish line. China isn't just building structures, it's constructing a future the rest of the world can barely imagine. From robotic builders to self-healing highways, floating airports to living skyscrapers, each project is a bold statement. The future isn't coming, it's already here. As the US and other nations watch in stunned silence, one thing is clear, China isn't slowing down. The question now isn't whether others can catch up, but whether they even know how. So what's next on China's blueprint for tomorrow?